For as long as she has worked in Singapore, Filipino domestic helper Lydia Landubian, 43, has made it a point to be at Orchard Road with her friends on Christmas Eve to bask in the festive atmosphere. But her 11th time back has been special. This year, Miss Landubian, Miss Julie Jelongo, 44, and Miss Premier Tomas, 48, took in the glittering lights from a driver's perspective by strolling down the usually busy four-lane road. It is more crowded than in previous years, but it is nicer than how it usually is, she said. This was possible as a segment of Orchard Road was closed to traffic on the evening of December 24 for a street party. To mark the 40th anniversary of the annual light up of Singapore's most famous shopping street and the 25th anniversary of the Orchard Road Business Association Arbor. At 6 p.m., the 400m stretch of Orchard Road from the Patterson to Bideford Junctions was closed as preparations got underway for performances, caroling, food trucks, and of course a countdown to Christmas before the party wrapped up. At 8 p.m., trunks of people who had been waiting along the pavement were allowed onto the road through specific entrances, such as in front of Tanks Plaza and Ion Orchard. Families Friends and couples then ambled along Orchard Road, which was lined with stalls selling handicrafts and drinks. While it was mostly orderly, a segment in front of Wisma Atria was particularly congested. There were shouts of don't push as people stood shoulder to shoulder. Alba said a maximum of 3,000 people were allowed inside the Cordon Street at any time and about 60 security personnel, including auxiliary police officers, were deployed to maintain order. A digital map was available from 6 p.m., which highlighted areas in the shopping belt that were congested and alternative places that were less packed. Noting the bottleneck, physician David Lowe, 50, said the party layout could have been improved. He was at Orchard Road with his wife Miss Ashley Lim, 44, and their two daughters Marian Lowe, 14, and Michaela Lowe, 11. The longer holiday weekend had prompted the Lowe's to have their Christmas dinner on December 23rd and to visit the street party on Christmas Eve said Dr. Lowe. The family stood out as they were among a small number of revelers, less than one in ten, who were masked up. Dr. Lowe said this was a precaution, given the recent COVID-19 wave. The cases didn't put us off coming down to the street party. We wanted to come down and experience what it was like, he said. On December 22, Health Minister Ong Yi Kang said the current COVID-19 wave may have peaked and that there was no need to mandate mask wearing. Pilot Max Fu said he and his family were not wearing masks because the event was held outdoors and that they had all been vaccinated and had recovered from COVID-19. He was at the street party with his wife Miss Fanny Tang, 51, and his son full-time National Serviceman Kun Fu, 21. Mr. Fu said they usually do not make a trip to Orchard Road during Christmas Eve unless there was a special event. The first Christmas Eve street party along the shopping belt clearly qualified. It is not every day you have a road closure, so we decided to come down and have a few of it. He said.